especially with New Breed. You know what I mean? He, he came through and supported a brother, bro. You have to understand, if you don't have relationships, you don't got nothing. I'm not going to be talking about the Bible much longer. I'm just not going to be doing it much longer. It seemed like you only want to hear drama. We got to learn how to respect one another as men mm -hmm. and want to see the next man grow. All of you brothers who claim you, you rep the most high, you're interested in a YouTube check. So you're not really trying to teach the real truth. Reach the people that he will have you reach. And this is the time, ladies and gentlemen. 2024, it's a whole new dynamic right now. It's a whole nother element. Y'all get what's going on? This is history in the making. Because it ain't no spirit of preeminence. It's, it, listen, it's all love. You understand what I'm talking about? Amongst people who are like-minded. We're not talking about no religious zealots. We're not talking about somebody who's trying to rule and reign over you and all of that. No, 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 no. That ain't what we're talking about right now. We're talking about building with chosen ones. There's been a lot of talk about chosen ones and 144,000 prophesied in the Holy Scriptures. Numbers chapter 8 verse 17 states that God said, All the firstborn among the children of Israel are mine. The passage goes on to explain how the Levites were sacrificed on behalf of all 12 tribes of Israel. Revelation chapter 14 states that the 144,000 are redeemed from the earth, not defiled by women, and they are the first fruits unto God. So God took 12,000 firstborn sons from each tribe or from the Levites to represent each tribe. And there goes your 144,000. So in one sense, the 144,000 are chosen for a purpose. Obviously, the 12 tribes of Israel, particularly the tribe of Judah, is chosen above all the nations according to the scriptures. Then most importantly, those who are born again in Christ Jesus and endure to the end shall inherit eternal life. So they are also chosen. But when you hear this false prophet Newbury speak about chosen ones, he's very vague, saying that he wants to build with the chosen ones, but he has also opened the fields of UP farms to all people. This will include LGBT, Sodomites, Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, Muslims, uh, pedophiles, etc. So long as they have some money, they are chosen by Newbury to inherit the land. Now, nowhere in the scriptures did Christ command us to bring all nations together. In fact, he said he came with the sword of division, that a man's enemies will be that of his own household. Evil communication corrupts good habits. Your business is righteousness, have fellowshipping with lawlessness. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. There are few who inherit eternal life, according to Matthew chapter 7. The new breed is one of those dudes who will speak less about the truth the more supporters he gained. If new breed ever acquired 1 million subscribers in an industrialized landscape, I believe he will denounce the faith altogether. He's one of those guys I could see getting more and more wicked the greater the spotlight is on him. Like I said, this channel is going through an extreme evolution from what I used to be. Um, I don't care what the algorithm does to reward the truth. The truth is we need to be coming together as people because we got bigger fish to fry and we got a lot of problems going on in society. That's the truth. I don't know how that's going to do with getting support. And I don't know if that is salacious enough for y'all, but it's the truth. We need to be building. We need to be preparing our ark for the water, for the rain that's coming down. Now, you see, this guy want to use Noah's ark to sanction his cause to draw heathens onto the community. I mean, this guy completely negates the forthcoming recompense due to fall upon the Gentiles for their persecution of so-called black people who are the real Hebrews. He does not understand the degree of fear that will possess these Edomites when they realize their kingdom is crumbling. I mean, this is a people who is proven to steal, kill, and destroy when things don't go their way to take their own life and new breed wants them to be your next door neighbor and tenant communities that has yet to fully develop you must understand that the most high commanded these heathens to sell everything they own and give it to the poor so that they have some level of understanding of what it means to be christ-like and crucify the flesh what do you think christ meant when he said woe to you who laugh now for you shall mourn and weep because they are too comfortable in a land that already does not belong to them, was also built in the bloodshed of God's chosen people. 
So if this land initiative ever gains prominence, I believe it will be occupied by some Edomites who have property on the land, but also live in gated communities and use the land as a place of refuge when martial law hits. But when martial law comes, they will be the most difficult to deal with because they are so used to having their way and they're used to blacks being subjected to them. This is why the scriptures say they must go through their own tribulation to prove themselves worthy and we are to come out from among them. But this guy, Newbreed, he's lost. Yes, yeah, somebody says, let me see. People need skills to bring to the table. I met many who was there just to eat. No contribution. That part. And that's another thing. Um, when it goes to why some people may not have friends, you got to ask yourself, are you a giving person? Are you a person who shares with others? Are you selfish? You know, how many of us can admit sometimes in our lives we've been selfish? How many of us can admit that? And that may be the reason why people don't really see um, see the, let me see, can Gentiles be part of what you're doing? Absolutely. For the person who asked that, absolutely. For those who are not as familiar with UP Farms Land Initiative, New Breed is on record stating that it is all about business. So all of the end times rhetoric is a part of his religious altar. It's just a front. He talked about selfishness and how to be selfless, but the Gentiles are the epitome of selfishness. Not all of them, but you just got to read the scriptures and the end time faith that speaks about them. Joel chapter 3 explains how they took God's silver and gold, his prized possessions, which are the so-called black people, the Semitic people, the Hebrews. They took them into the transatlantic slave trade. Isaiah chapter 14 says their wives, speaking about the Gentiles, the Edomites, their wives will be ravished and their children dashed to pieces. Okay, that's recompense. Okay. Their guns will not protect them, neither will their bunkers, their compounds, their landscapes. Nothing will protect them from the judgment of the Most High. There will be a tribulation, and they will have to endure 1,000 years of slavery in the New Jerusalem. Okay, the scriptures say, He who led into captivity shall go into captivity. And Christ in his infinite wisdom understood that they will never serve him living in the comforts of their homes built off of slave labor they didn't pay a dime for. This is how I know this devil, new breed, he's just all about his bread. He has yet to even produce a budget that conveys what will be built on the land and how much development will cost. Um, Ecclesiastic 6 and 7. If thou would get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him yeah y'all shared that scripture quite a few times i read it in my last stream but i, I love that scripture yeah you should have not been hasty to embrace the friendship of ringo tv but you were thinking too hard about his money all of you brothers who claim you you rep the most high you're interested in a youtube check so you're not really trying to teach the real truth dude you have admitted that you would not even be teaching the scriptures anymore because people don't support when you do i mean that sounds like that's proof that you're more concerned with the YouTube check, okay? You just want to make a movie out of the new breed situation, and of course you miss the mark on doctrine almost every time. I mean, do you hear this hypocrite? Nevertheless, I want to bring the attention back to UP Farms, which I believe has the potential to be a land of demons if new breed ever gets his way. I also want to open back up the forum about the forthcoming judgments against the Gentiles and how this thing will play out before the Most High cracked them skies open. So what did Christ mean when he said, Woe to you who are rich, for you've already received your comfort? What does James chapter 5 and Joel chapter 3 and Revelation 14 and Isaiah 14 mean? It will be more important to fast in isolation these last days positioning yourself for a correct posture of death before you die. 
Okay, all of this foolishness and this rhetoric and heresy, all of this talk about being around all of these people in the last and evil days. Look, if those people are not believers, they're going to be even more of a threat against you. All right. But I will have to talk more about this in another video. Don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's all about fates and gates. You got to have faith and you're going to need God's grace.